I think it's important to be at events like this because you see the trends that are happening, the, the movements, the, the changes that are happening within the, the ad industry, but particularly the ad industry in this region, which is obviously very different from other regions. So I've found it very enlightening so far. Coming from a newspaper, I've been surprised by how much uh, advertising in the region is still focused on print. Um, in Britain, we're looking very much to digital, um, and that seems to be less the case here. So I guess we've got a lot of digital experience to share that, uh, that's very much in the future for uh, advertisers in this region. Well, yeah, so social media has really changed how the news media works, um, both in how we communicate with our readers and how we get information from them. Um, so we've been, uh, particularly during the Arab uprisings, we uh, lose a lot of people's Twitter feeds, Facebook, emails from them, uh, stuff they tell us. Um, but we have to be very careful about how you do that because obviously it's very easily manipulated by enemies or just jokesters or people trying to subvert the story that gets out. So what you do is you, we try very carefully to develop trusted users, people whose uh, Twitter feeds we, we know we can rely on, people who are followed by other people who are reliable, people who will admit when they don't know if something's true or not, they'll say we can't verify this, which is something we do ourselves when we can't verify things. Um, so I think it's admitting that it's an iterative process that we're trying to get to the truth and perhaps you, the users, the readers can help us get there. I think what's changed is that old media and new media are working together. So um, we still have the best reporters on The Guardian, people who will go into often dangerous areas, report facts from the ground, verify things with their own eyes, and that's crucial. Um, but what we've done, what we can do now is put that together with uh, new media, with citizen journalists, people on the ground tweeting, people in perhaps in areas we can't get to because we're barred uh, or just inaccessible or just from a different area because we can't be everywhere. And the two together, I think, um, you put the two together, you have this incredibly rich news experience, rich journalistic experience that was impossible before. And this is why I, I think that um, readers now have a, a much fuller understanding of events as they happen than has, has been the case in the past. It's very exciting. It seems to me that um, taking care with social media is, applies as just as much to the advertising industry as it does to journalism. Um, we all know the cases of when people did very um, obvious um, product placement in tweets, for example, and, they, and t Twitter will find that out. So I think it's definitely worth taking care. I think events like this, it's very exciting to meet lots of people from different places and hear what they're facing, what exciting ideas they've come up with, and I think it's very important you meet lots to, lots, to meet lots of new people at these sort of events. So I'm really looking forward to going to the drinks party and meeting all these delegates and finding out what they've got to say about uh, the ad industry in this region. You know, that's really interesting to me and I can't think of anywhere else where I'd be able to meet everybody in one place.